Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to be making a shrimp po' boy sandwich. Yep, you heard that, that's right, a shrimp po' boy sandwich. So to begin with, I have a pound of shrimp that has already been cleaned and deveined here. For the breading, I'm going to be using one cup of flour, a half a cup of cornmeal, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. In this bowl here, I have three eggs, one teaspoon of paprika and one teaspoon of onion powder. My spice blend for today will be one and one half teaspoon of Creole seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon and a half of black pepper, one half teaspoon of paprika, and right here in the middle, that's about one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Okay, so let's get to mixing. First, I'm gonna mix the season blend together. Then I'm gonna put a very small amount of this on the shrimp because you don't wanna put too much seasoning on your shrimp because they take on to seasoning really easily and you don't want to have it salty because you're going to also season your breading mix. Okay, that looks about fine to me. First, let me beat the egg to get that out of the way. Now in the egg, I only have the onion powder and the paprika because it gives it a boost of flavor. You'll have your layers of flavor. You'll have this, the shrimp seasoned the egg mixture seasoned, and then you'll have your breading mix seasoned. So I'm gonna beat this. And I didn't add salt to the egg mixture because I don't wanna over salt it like I said earlier. I wanna make sure you get all of that. The paprika seems like it wanna, wants to stick to the side of the bowl. Okay, that looks good enough. Now I'm gonna to blend together the breading mix. You can do this with a whisk, a fork, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna blend this together before I add in the seasonings. Okay. Remember, only half of this. I just want to give these a, a toss. You can see the color starting to change. So you know your shrimp will be well seasoned. Okay. Okay, that's enough there. All right, there you go. See that? Now, the rest of the mix will go in the breading mix. Here, I'm going to be using a fork to get that through. Okay, and you can see the color change in your your mix. That's how you know your seasoning is well incorporated. Okay, so now the assembly line is kind of out of order, but we're gonna go and dump all of these shrimp into the egg.
And guys, at this point, you should have your oil preheating already so that these can go right into the oil. Today, I'm gonna to be using a deep fryer to fry these. So this looks about right. That isn't up close. All right. So it doesn't matter how you put them in, just don't let a whole lot of the egg mixture go into it because you don't want clumps of egg throughout the, the breading mix. I'm actually gonna put all of these in there because I'm gonna put it later on the bowl and shake it up. Yeah. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, got one straggler. Okay. So you just wanna shake it a little bit so they can get slightly coated before you put your top on. Okay, perfect. Okay, and this is what you want. You're gonna have a perfect crust. Look at those flakes on it already. See that? That is gonna be crunchy. And especially with the uh, the cornstarch in there, it's gonna be even crispier. So this should do. Just give that a mix. Make sure you get all the bare spots. Shouldn't be much bare spots. Okay. So let's take these to the fryer. Then we'll get our condiments ready and our bread okay so it's time to drop these bad boys in I'm gonna remove the top from my deep fryer bring the basket up I'm gonna just layer these shrimp in there definitely shake off the excess breading Guys, be sure to shake off the excess breading because you don't want to kill your oil and have it burn out because it's frying stuff other than the food that you put in. Just want to kind of give them some space. Oh, found one with some bit spots. Okay guys, so I'm gonna finish putting the shrimp in and I'll show you right before I drop them in. Okay, so all of the shrimp are in the basket. I'm gonna drop this now. That's what you wanna hear. Let it go for a couple of seconds. Before you start to shake them to make sure that they are not sticking to each other and they fry properly. Okay, you can bring them up. You see that, look at that. Now I can shake them a little bit. I'm gonna drop them, let them cook. Okay, so let's check on these shrimp. And they are done, perfectly fried. Okay, so I'm gonna take these out. Look at that. Fried to perfection. These smell so good. Oh man. And I know they're crispy. greatness <laughs> I 
could have just dumped them all out, but I don't want any of the flakes to come off. You know, the crispiness, the crust. We need that. That's what makes the shrimp the best. Okay, so now that I have these all out, here they are. Now it's time to get our bread toasted. So here's the bread that I'm going to be using today. It's a uh, French bread and it's like super soft and fresh. Check that out. Okay, so let me get this out of its packaging and we're going to cut this. We're not going to use this whole thing. And I like to make a cut like towards the center of the bread. Okay. Okay, so about here, just save these end pieces for something else. Okay, and there you have it. Now with this, you don't want to cut the bread all the way down the middle to the other end and make it completely half. You just want to take it and cut like into it but leave the back attached because when you build this sandwich you don't want everything to fall out of the sides when you're you know picking it up to bite it so see just like that now I'm gonna get it over to my griddle that's already preheating and we're gonna toast this front and back okay so my griddle is nice and hot at this point so I can now add the butter just in the spots that you know you are going to be adding your bread okay let that get all bubbly Okay. Just give it a little press to ensure that the butter gets on it and that the heat is going to hit the entire face of the bread. Okay, so we'll let that go. We'll come right back when it's all toasted up. It's about that time to flip the bread. And that's perfect. This is what you want. So I'm going to let some heat hit the back of the bread. Give that a little bit of color. Okay, let's see what the back of the bread is looking like. Ah, see, this is all you want. A little bit of color. It's nice and warm. So I can turn that off. And we can assemble this sandwich now. Okay, it's time to assemble this sandwich. So here's all of what you will need. Of course, we got the perfectly fried shrimp that we just made, the bread we just toasted, and I cut up some lettuce earlier and sliced some tomato, and we have a little bit of pickle. And of course, the mayo. So we're gonna start by putting that on first. And this is really to your liking. You can put mayo on both sides of the bread. Okay. Just a tad bit more. 
and that should do. Okay, that should do. All right. I'm going to layer the lettuce over on the top over here. And you can use any type of lettuce, you know, of your choice. It's all about what you have and what you like. I'm using romaine right now. Okay, my tomato. Now we're going to put some of these pickles on there. You can use as much or as little of the pickles that you may like. Okay, now the star of the show. You want to kind of start in the middle so that you can kind of build around it so most of the shrimp don't fall. And you can kind of place them at the end. And we can fit one more somewhere. Okay. And that was the somewhere. Okay, let's get this sandwich closed. See what we are working with. Oh, and we did it. Come on, guys. Look at that. Look at the top of that bread. Look at the shrimp loaded into this sandwich. Wow, check that out. That looks amazing. That looks amazing. All right, guys. So.